it's, it's really not that complicated. Um, now, you need battery packs because the sun does not shine at night. Um, and w the, the point that we're at right now is, in fact, obviously a transition. We're tra transitioning from day to tonight. It's dusk. Um, and so what, what, what's happening is that the, the houses are transitioning from the roof generating power to the battery pack, the, 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 the power wall, producing power. So uh, during the day, you fill up the, the battery. And then at night, and in dusk and dawn, you, you use the battery. Um, it's pretty straightforward, really. It's like, <laughs> not that complicated. Um, you, need, you just need, you need both. Uh, and, but, but if you have solar, a, a great solar roof, and you have a, a battery pack in your house, and you have an electric car, that's something that scales worldwide, that you can, you can solve the whole energy equation with that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Obviously, next slide, please. So, the, so we'd like to introduce the Powerwall 2. The, th this is a, a big step above the Powerwall 1. Um, it has twice as much energy, um, uh, more than twice as much power. So it's a 14, uh, four, 14 kilowatt hour energy storage, 7 kilowatt uh, power output. Um, and just to put that in, t in basic terms, uh, you can take a four-bedroom house, and you can have, uh, you can you can power the your, your fridge, the sockets, and lights uh, for a day. And if you have solar on your on your on your house, you can power it indefinitely. So that's just with one. Um, and and then we're, for, on the utility side, we've got the power pack two, which similarly doubles the the uh, the energy. So it's a turn ten kilowatt hour. Uh, capability, 50 kilowatt uh, uh, power output, and this th this can scale to unlimited size. So it's, uh, uh, in fact, we've, we've recently announced the the, the biggest uh, utility uh, battery installation uh, in the world, which is going to be with uh, Southern California Edison. Let's go to the next slide. Um, so we, we have an 80 megawatt hour uh, battery installation that's being built right now. So. And then uh, we announced one earlier this year, which is for uh, a utility in Hawaii uh, doing 52 megawatt hours. You're going to see a lot more of these uh, announced over time. And I think, I think it's important to uh, make sure people appreciate that the solution is both uh, local power generation and utility uh, power generation. It's not one or the other. Uh, sometimes this, this, the solar roof uh, is positioned as, as a sort of a competitor to, to utilities, but uh, we're actually going to need uh, utility power to increase, um, and we're going to need local power generation. Because if you transition um, all um, energy to, to electric, uh, that, that roughly triples the amount of electricity that's needed. So um, you, you need about a third for transport, about a third for heating, and about a third for what we currently use as electricity. So th th the future is, is bright for utilities and for, uh, for, for local power generation. Um, I would expect it to be roughly a, th a third local power generation, roughly two thirds uh, utilities. So it's, it's a, I think it's a very bright future for, for utilities and for rooftop. So let's look at, take a look at some of these roofs. What, as I mentioned earlier, what we're really looking for here is how do we have a, a solar roof that is better than a normal roof, um, that uh, looks better, uh, lasts longer, has better insulation, in, insulating effect, and where the cost of roof plus Electricity is, is less than that of a normal roof. Now, this is um, this is sort of the, the integrated future. You've got a electric car, a power wall, and solar and a solar roof. And the, the key is that it's, it needs to be beautiful, affordable, and, in, and seamlessly integrated. Um, and then, if, if if all those things are are true, why would you go any other direction? So. So yeah, um, <laughs> so we're going to show you. This is the before shot of that house over there. So, so that's what it looked like before. Now that's um, all solar. Yeah. I think we've got some close-up shots that we can show.
And if you look, if you look carefully, you can actually see the, the solar cells behind the glass. And I'll actually pick up one of these so you can and show you what I mean. So this is a textured glass tile. Um, if you look carefully, you can see the solar, the solar cells. Yeah, you can see that. So we have a malfunction on the LED. <laughs> so. Like take a look at the next house. All right, so th that house is also solar, um, and that's a, a sort of a style of a, of a French slate, which is one of the hardest things to, to do. It's, it's considered one of the, the best roofs you can possibly do as a conventional roof. So I said, well, if, if ca can we make a French slate roof that's solar that looks as good or, or better than a, than a conventional uh, French slate roof, and we're able to do that as well. Um, th that's done with hydrographic printing, so each tile is unique. So it's, it's uh, the, the production process itself makes each tile especially unique, a sort of special snowflake tile. Um, <laughs> the, the, uh, but the nice thing is that no two roofs will be the same. So it's not just cookie cutter. Uh, you, you can take any two roofs like that, and they will look different because they are different. So. This is the, so what the French slate hydrographic looks like. You can see that. And then uh, this, the third house is really transformative. Because um, believe it or not, that's what it looked like before. <laughs> so we, we changed the roof and it was like, whoa, if we put that roof on, we've got to change the house too. <laughs> so that, that, you know, that, that tile is, is more of a modern look. Um, And here you can really see, as the angle changes, that you can see the solar cells. Um, so um, here we, we, we put a, a film with microlubers on it so that as, as the angle changes, it goes from transparent to opaque. So uh, from the vantage point of the street or n anywhere near the house, it looks completely opaque. But from the sun, it's, to, to the sun, it's transparent. And then um, probably the, the most surprising one is the, the Tuscan, Tuscan glass. So this is also solar panels. We've put two versions of the, the, the Tuscan glass approach. Um, all of the dark tiles have solar panels. So we interleave a dark and light, and then the dark ones are the, the ones with solar panels. Again, you can see that uh, the transparency changes quite a bit. So as you, fr from the sun's vantage point, which tends to be high angle, you can see the, the, solar, pa the solar cells. But as you change the angle to a shallow angle, uh, it reverts to um, a, a sort of an orangey color. So, so one of the other advantages of, of glass is that we can actually make it a lot, a lot tougher uh, and last a lot longer than a conventional roof. Uh, so we just as a demonstration video, show you what happens if you drop a